dinky do. A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you. Welcome, 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 I say, to our Monday evening live stream on TikTok, just for you, with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And the world's most humble man, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Let's have your chit-chat. If you're scrolling, then stop, because you've arrived at your destination. This is the TikTok Live that you've been looking for for years and years and years. And every time you scroll through, you think, wow, here it is. So welcome, 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 I say. Good evening, King, Mr. Wid Dinky Doo. Hi, hi, says Mr. Wid. Yes, indeed, a very warm welcome to you of course and follow us as soon as you come on because this is the one for you this is the main man scotty mcclue absolutely kira lovely to have you with us have you watched a still game yes i have they think i was the original inspiration for still game what about that can i get a shout out of course you can nx you can have a shout out lovely hat yes this is my australian jackaroo just for you dinky do from scotty mcclue this is the way to wear a hat proper gear i say for a proper geezer <laughs> that's what we like excellent stuff so come and join us as soon as you can share the video tap 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 de tap on your screens and let everybody know that we are live follow us as soon as you come on there's ben saying hello hello ben good to have you with us and a very warm welcome now if you happen to be a troll instead of putting the same rubbish that you sometimes put on other lives come and join us and start to grow up and get some knowledge and some education. Have you read every one of the books behind you? I'm very intrigued. Yes, indeed. I have read all my books, but I've still got more I am going to read again. So there we are. How fantastic is that? Hey, Scotty Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Monday evening live on TikTok. Just for you saying Dinky Do. Follow as soon as you come on, guys. Now, if you tap my portrait, you'll see that there are, I don't know, there might be a hundred or so uh, wonderful TikTok videos for your education and enjoyment, edification, and delight. Get yourselves on to these. I can see my surname in the back. Can you, Cameron? How wonderful is that? Fantastic. Now, um, oops, on Prince Charles, fantastic. Can you come and have a go if you think you're hard enough? Well, you have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> what are you actually having a go at? <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Hello, everybody. Dinky do. Good to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, somebody looking for a round to go. Your favorite book, my favorite book, Wind in the Willows, <coughs> or The Jungle Book. Yes, or Winnie the Pooh. Yes, these are all big, big favorites. Very nice. There you are. His voice is awesome. Inconspicuous. You're very, very kind. I say very kind indeed. What's your opinion on Prince Charles? An exceptional man. Absolutely exceptional man. I can tell you that. Yes, a real, real top boy. So there we go. Um, did you know? Oh, yes, I know. You'll never guess just how much I actually know. Now, uh, come and join us, folks. Follow us as soon as you come on. As I say, share the video. There's all these opportunities on TikTok's top talk show for you, you see. And I want you to win. It's a win game, actually, isn't it? Fantastic. Follow me as soon as you come on. We must get our followers us up i can't understand it half a million viewers 12 half 12 and a half thousand followers what's going on half a million viewers five hundred thousand over five hundred thousand people have watched scotty McClue live but only twelve and a half thousand have thought to just click follow what is going on i say how old are you no offense we don't know um, we think I'm 28 years at least in Earth years, and of course I'm a time traveler. And you see, I wasn't born. My grandmother knitted me. So this is why we don't know. Who assassinated Franz Ferdinand? 
This is uh, the Archduke of uh, Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo. That was the tinderbox for setting off the First World War. Oh, my goodness me. PC Ventress, Charlie. You know, I enjoy watching PC Ventress because I just think it's such clever policing. You know, he's there making a cup of tea. He's got his egg sandwiches from Mrs. Ventress. He's in the police station taking his time. The phone rings. He picks it up. He's, Aidensfield, please. <laughs> Fantastic. Can you tell us a story? I can tell you lots and lots of stories. Wonderful stuff. Uh, so what have we got here? Scotty, how are you from Kareem? Kareem is a real top man. And Kareem has been very, very supportive. Thoughts on William Morris? Well, it's not Morris. It's Morris, M-O-R-R. I S. You'll see it in one of the books behind me. William Morris, the great fabric and print designer. What happened to your lovely flat cap, Scotty? We don't know, Charlie. I'll have to find it. We think it's in the house somewhere, but I can't remember where I've sat it. Kareem, thank you so much. There's the wonderful Kareem has given me four, take five. Six TikToks. Kareem, you are very, very... Seven TikToks. You're eight TikToks. You're very, very kind, Kareem. Thank you very much indeed. A real top man. Kareem has always been an extremely generous man. When he comes on the live, he immediately sends me TikToks. Just a lovely, lovely person. And, of course, we've got Maria, who's now a very famous lady, who is incredibly kind to Scotty McClue. Up the custard creams. What's your favorite subject? i talking to Maria there. She's just sent me a TikTok. She's sent me four, five, tic, six TikToks. Maria, stop, stop. No, no, you did. Maria, you did earlier. Yes, we don't need any more. She is so good. Now, uh, who have we got here? Mon the Jazz, Scotty. Well, the hoop, we have to say uh, Mon the Hoops, if we're saying Mon the Jazz, you know, in the interest of balance. But the Jazz are a wee bit in the doghouse at the moment for misbehaving. Now, why weren't they told that if they went to George Square and didn't social distance, you know, they would be fined? You know, that message should have been put out on national news. Here's a message for anybody thinking in going to George Square tomorrow. Here's what will happen to you if you don't social distance. You will be charged and fined. Now, Maria Knight, thank you so much. Maria is giving me TikToks, guys. Will you look at it? Now, she is so generous. Maria has given me thousands upon thousands of TikToks. Incredibly generous. Stay on the and dinky do. Yes, indeed, Lahoub's laughing because Stay on the and Lahoub are probably the last people who would be Rangers supporters. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, I agree, Scotty, 100%. Scotty, do your Scouse accents. Now, I'm Marcy, I can't do me Scouse accents. I, I love the bones of you. Fantastic. There you are. I'm glad you could come and join us. It's lovely to have you with us. So it is. <laughs> Thanks very much, Marty. Um, are you British? Uh, well, British, there's no such country as Britain. British just means you live on a land mass, which is called Great Britain because it's the big bit. Maria's given me 210 TikToks. Guys, are you watching this? Come on. Look at this lady. She is giving me 220, 230 TikToks. So there we are. Scotty, a dinky do from Jason and Sterling. Fantastic dinky do. Scotty, who's your favorite band? I think my very favorite band of all time would have to be Jimmy Shand and his band. Outstanding dance music. Maria's now giving me red roses. My darling angel, you're just so kind. Thank you. Oh, how do I say thank you to Maria? You know, how do you solve the problem like Maria? Opinions on the big man, Scotty. Thank you very much, Lahoub. 
Yes, indeed. Which big man are you talking about? Are you talking about God? Hey, brother, good to see you again. Gavan, it's always good to see you. My papa used to listen to Jimmy Shand. Outstanding music. An outstanding band leader. I'll tell you another good one was Henry Hall and the BBC Dance Orchestra. Try and have a listen to Henry Hall. Maria, thank you so much. Maria's given me 120. 125, 125, 126, 127, 130 uh, red roses. Is that not 130? Oh, my goodness me. She's given me 140 red roses. What do you do, Maria? Are you Kurdish? I just like Kurdish food. There we are. Can you say Tony, dinky-doo, Tony, dinky-doo to Tony? Lovely to have you with us, Maria. This is so generous. She's going to end up giving me, I could tell you, 180, 180, 180. No, she's going to end up giving me 200 red roses. I can see it happening. A lot of beautiful roses. She's a very, very beautiful person. Thank you, Maria. Oh, she's gone past 200, guys, 210, and then that's it. She is an amazing person. She is an amazing person. You, you've all witnessed her every single night. On here, live, fantastic. What's your favorite food, Scotty? Anything edible. There we are, fantastic. I'm Turkish. We love having you on from Turkey. I must go and see the boss for us. Maria's now sending me gold microphones. 20 gold microphones. Uh, the real Scotty says, big up. The Irish Republican, why on earth would anybody ever big up thugs and terrorists? Why would you, why would you ever do that? Are you completely bonkers? So there we are. R.I.P. the flat hats of somebody. Yeah, yeah, she's a treasure. Yes, you should visit her. Scotty, do you remember me, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Of course I do. Disco Pete. Now, guys, here's another generous person. Disco Pete comes on here and gives me red roses. He gives me TikToks. He's just done 14 red roses. Uh, what did Maria do? Did she do a 1,000 there? Oh, my goodness, she's back. Maria's just given me a tube of sun cream because she knows how bright the lights can be during a live on TikTok. Absolutely. Thank you, Maria. Hello. Hello, says the Damien. The Damien says hello. Scotty, my boy. Connor, lovely to have you with us. Wait, I love you. You seem like such a genuine person. Oh, well, I am genuine. I have to tell... Maria, what have you done? Do you know what Maria's just done, guys? She has showered me, Scotty McClue, with a gold mine. Did you see it fall there? Wow. Wow. Maria should be your moderator. Maria is just incredible. Absolutely, Maria. Just beautiful. Scotty, I'm trying hard not to argue with you. God, give me strength. Stare. You can have a small argument, but remember that terrorism and murderers and all these things are negative. This is a positive stream. There's no way you could ever make terrorists positive. Do you know what I'm saying? Never, ever, ever put all that nonsense out of your head. So there we are. Angela, I wouldn't give thoughts on another broadcaster. Yes. So, dinky do Sophie, stop telling me whoppers. Your nose will grow. Now, I'm going to leave you on, Sophie, because I believe in you. I think you're probably a very clever young lady who has a great potential and a great future in front of her. So I'm going to leave you on the live, but stop telling whoppers. It's not a good look. Disco Pete is back, and he has given me another 15. See, oh, Disco Pete, stop. He's given me 20 TikToks. Guys, you are lovely, lovely people. We're going to manage this new phone together. I know we are. How lucky am I? There we are. Right, Lahub, there you go. Stare. Yes, you tell him, Lahub. 
Have no truck with these people, I say. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. You make the best broadcasts. Ram, Ramboma. Thank you very much, Ramboma. Hello, Scotty. The Reel says, down with the black and tans. No, I would agree with you there. I am certainly not at all in any way impressed by anything the black and tans did. No, 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 no. I don't know. Can you, when you're down in the very south of Ireland, order a black and tan in a pub? Or would it be upsetting to them? Do you know what I mean? You know what a black and tan is? It's um, light beer, maybe a bitter beer, um, in with your stout, you see. And in fact, you used to, I quite often enjoyed it when I drank alcohol. It was a sweet stout and uh, mixed in with beer and, uh, you know, with, with, with heavy, as we called it in Scotland. So you had heavy and sweet stout and it was called a sweet black and tan. And you could order that in a Scottish pub, but I'm not sure about an Irish pub. I wouldn't like to order it just in case it offended. Thank you, Scotty. Lovely new hat. Been to Birmingham today. Have you an SN? Oh, Birmingham. Are you a fan of gluten? Not really. I think we've had enough gluten in my life. So I'll maybe go for a bit of gluten free. Yes, have you ever had MSG? Hello, Scotty. What's the drink tonight? Oh, the drink is beautiful. The drink is perfect. In fact, you've just reminded me to have a wee sipper. I love a wee sipper. It's the um, <laughs> it's the Kunso juice. The Kunso juice. Ooh, that hits the spot. Guys, give up alcohol and go on to the Kunzel juice, the water. Fantastic. There's the wonderful Georgie Parker. And George is from Harrow, just outside London. George, is Harrow a just outside London or is Harrow, Harrow on the Hill? Is that London? You know? Absolutely. So that's what I'm just checking. Pardon my ignorance. Uh, so there we are. I'm a big fan of the Marcus Rashford campaign on food poverty. What's your thoughts? You? No, I'm a big fan as well, David. I think it's wonderful. We should never have that. There we are. The Tans in 1920 killed innocents, kicked them from their houses. So there we are. Yes, I think Steer, I will accept that. No problem at all. Uh, Scotty McClue is very dischuffed with the black and tans. And it was Winston Churchill, am I not right, that sent them in? Tut, 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 tut. We don't like that. Do you like gluten or gluten-free bread? Well, the only trouble with gluten-free bread, Siberian, it tends to fall to bits when you take it out of the packet. Would you ever write an autobiography? Would anybody want to read Scotty McClue's autobiography? Honestly? Seriously? Do you think they would take it? Because I've seen uh, some quite famous broadcasters write autobiographies, and when you've read it, it's a kind of a load of nonsense, you know what I mean? Or it can be a very good book, and not that many people buy it. Like I remember seeing a very famous broadcaster's book. This is, oh, 40 years ago, and it was remaindered in Woolworths. Yes, so you could get it for sixpence. Unnecessary brutality and fight. Quite right, Stair. Yes, yes. And of course, same with the IRA, you know, that sort of thing. Let's not kid ourselves. So down with the black and tans. Right, okay. But uh, that's it finished now. No more discussion about the black and tans. Answer me, though. Is it all right to order a black and tan in the pub? So there we are. Uh, Gavan, uh, fantastic. Uh, speak English, please. Scotty, I like your new hat, but I prefer the old one. Yes, uh, well, when I find it, we'll put the old one back on. So there we are. And uh, the real Scotty McClure, um, no, 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 no. You never, ever, 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 ever insult the Queen or 
you know, her, her, her family or her position. The queen is the curator and custodian of the crown. That's our symbol of authority in 53 countries. Yes, and used to be across India and Africa and everywhere. But, uh, you know, the Commonwealth now, 53 countries, you never, ever, ever insult the crown. Uh, no, you can't, Scotty. It isn't sold down south. Ah, la who bright. And so would it offend if you asked for one, if you said, ah, good top of the morning to you there now, landlord. Could you do me a, could you do me a, a black and tan? Would that, would that be unacceptable? Oh, God, Scotty. You'd be short of yes for that. Is that right, Steer? Ah, right. What about a tan and black? Would that, could you still get away with that? And uh, what's your thoughts? Oh, amazing work for children. Absolutely, David. 100%. So there we are now. The real Scotty McClure, I think we'll have to ban you because you're being offensive. So there we are. The real Scotty McClure has just banned the real Scotty McClure for being offensive. Absolutely. You really are a highly intelligent man, Scotty. Ted Supper, I get it from the likes of your good self. You see, the quality, apart from the odd idiot and a few wee trolls who are just wee poor wee souls, really, that have never experienced a real quality live stream before. So apart from them, the people on here are absolutely stunningly beautiful, inside and out. And that includes Steer and Lahoub and all these people on there. Do you know what I mean? You know, everybody, lovely, lovely human beings from all over the world. What a gift to a broadcaster. It's beautiful. Beautiful people like like Maria and 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 Disco Pete and Karim and and, and you know our Harrow and the Hill boy and just just proper people. Now there's somebody there who's, I think he said a swear word, Yuvra. Yes, we'll send Yuvra down the road because he's not quite understanding that you need decorum on here and diplomacy. Have you ever seen World War II of a whole collection of World War I to World War II stuff? What sort of stuff, PlayStation? Tell us more. There's Kenders, another wonderful man, giving me TikToks. Do you support Israelis? Well, everybody supports Israelis and everybody supports the Palestinians. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it should be equal. See, this happened. Scotland and England should be 50-50. You know what I mean? There shouldn't be any one trying to get the upper hand over the other. They should sit and talk, you know? Wouldn't it be lovely if they said, you know, why don't you come over and have a chat with us? You know, where are we meeting? Are we meeting in Tel Aviv? Are we meeting in Jerusalem? You know, where, 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 are, we, where are we meeting? For man was born in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Jesus was a Palestinian. He was also a Jew. Let's honor his name. All glory, Lord, and honor. Yes, indeed. What's going on to the Redeemer King? Maria. You princess, what are you doing, Marie? I do worry. I do worry. Shall I put it all in a little account for you? And say, if you're ever stuck, give me a ring and we'll give you it all back. How about that, Maria? George Parker, you're a top man. Maria's giving me another hundred TikToks guy. Look, look, look. She's gone past it. George Parker's given me 40 Oh, George, 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 50. That's plenty, George. That's plenty. Stop, stop, stop. So there we are. So I think we need to support everybody. Council Pop. Yes, indeed. Have you had lychee juice? Yes, I think I have. Is that not one of these juices that your body goes, woo, when you drink it like vegetable juice? The lychees. You quite often get the lychees in the Chinese restaurant, don't you? Am I right? Bonsoir, Monsieur McClure, says Kenders. Bonsoir, Kenders. Ça va, oui? Moi aussi. D'accord. Uh, I've got to go now, Scotty. See you tomorrow. Ollie, take great care of your dear self. We'll all catch up soon. Dinky do, as we say. Maria, what are you doing? Look at Maria and Kenders, guys. 
Are they not just beautiful? Now, has everybody followed me? Has everybody shared the life? Guys, look, you've got to start following. I don't understand. Is it the hard work? Is it too much work to just go click with your mouse? What is the problem? Have you had any Buxton water? Yes, I have, Angela. It's outstanding. Because am I not right thinking Buxton's a spa town out in Derbyshire there? Would you like some iron brew? Oh, you're so very, very kind. The yeet, the yeet. Fantastic. Do you have a pet? Um, I don't at the moment. I had had two beautiful black Labradors uh, over the last uh, 28 years. Oh, I've ruined two gundams. Maria, what are you doing? Guys, what, what do we do with Maria? She's giving me more TikToks. Can we get a shout out? So there we are. Uh, my nan who's not here now loved a place called Oban. Is it a good place to visit? David, it is God's country. Just watch the parking and watch the one-way system. It's quite a difficult town to get parked in Oban, but it is stunningly beautiful because you see it's got hills behind it and sea in front of it. So it kind of can't really go anywhere, do you know what I mean? What I would like you to do is also take a trip very carefully down the, the road to places like Loch Gilpid and Ard Drishig. Oh, you see, what you used to get, Scotland was beautifully set out till Westminster started sucking the economic life out of it. Oh, squeezing it, wringing it out. You know, all that. Maria, what are you doing? Maria is, she's heading for 450 TikToks, guys. She must have given me 10,000, 20,000 TikToks before. Oh, this is quite nerve-wracking. She's just done 450. That's enough, Maria. Now stop, stop. Stop at 460. 460. Stop. She's going past 460, guys. She's giving me... How, Maria, how do you do that? She's giving me red roses at the same time. She's giving me TikToks. Can you all see that? Guys, can you see this happening? Or is it just me? There we are. So... Uh, I would like you to try and get to open at some point. You're 100% right. It was Churchill's orders. The towns were thugs who were sent in for only one reason. La hoop. I do not doubt it. And I would like to sincerely apologize for Churchill's behavior and for sending in the black and tans. I think it was a disgrace. I would never, ever have done that. I would have been talking. Was Dev in charge at the time? There we are. Was it Dev and Lloyd George? Was Churchill, what was, what was, was he the secretary for Ireland at the time? What's happening, Tote? Ah, hubba. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Uh, take Collins down, says La Hub. Now, who took Collins down? Oh, sent them to take. Sorry, I beg your pardon. This is a continuation. Maria, what are you doing? Yeah, but we don't know who took Collins down. He might have been shot by his own men. They carried they carried him on their back. Would you stop it? You're bringing negativity into a very, very positive one. <laughs> if you criticise your own book, is that classed as self-help? <laughs> a self-help book. It's one of a help yourself book. Do you have the squeeze box with you tonight? Maria, I don't have the squeeze box, but I suppose I could go and get it. There we are. What do you think about Oliver Cromwell? He was a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful man. And I would, I would, I'm not saying I would refuse to talk to him, but he was just a baddie, an all-round baddie. Yes, indeed. Have you traveled a lot in your life? I've traveled a lot, Hubba, in throughout the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I have, and I've traveled to Ireland, of course, and I've traveled to a few countries, but I'm not well-traveled worldwide. I haven't been to India and Africa and Australia and New Zealand and the Philippines and all these places where they would recognize Scotty McClue. because apparently I'm known to two billion people. It's not bad, is it? Australia. 
love to come to Australia. How would you like me on your television at night in Australia? The Scotty McClue Show. Stare is right, you'd be prop shot. Well, I hope that's not a very nice way. Yes, you're worrying me now. You two are not a very good advert for Ireland. That is very bad because I thought Ireland was lovely when I went there and very, very good for tourism. I don't think we want to go shooting people just because they've asked for a drink. So there we go. We need to grow up if that's the case. Can we get a shout? Oh, yes, absolutely right. Now, who we got here is M&M Positive. Lovely sweets, my favourite sweets. You are excellent, my friend. Paddy Irish, it is lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. There's the beautiful Maria again. What are we going to do? What's going on here? No, I don't know. Um, I should have got the squeeze box. Follow us as soon as you come on. Used to ask for something at the ice cream van years ago. Yes, you'd get shot for it these days. Oh, Kendall's, I don't think we'll go there. Uh, yes, I'm quite stunning, actually. Uh, is this me or you, J-R-S-Y? So there we go. How are the kids doing? There's somebody asking a question. What's he saying? What lodge you in? Um, oh, oh, sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I go to the travel lodge if I'm staying overnight. How are the kids doing? There we are. I never had a problem with you, Scotty. You're actually a decent fella. It's just your opinion on certain things. Well, of course, Stair. I mean, you know, you've got to remember I know the big picture. You don't. And when I try and tell you the big picture, you, you, you know, you worry and all that stuff. You get in a panic. Should Ireland be united? Well, Paddy, the problem is we don't know. We need to talk to the Taoiseach. And uh, I doubt he's going to come on live uh, here. It'd be lovely if he did. But we need to talk to the Taoiseach. And we need to talk to the First Minister in Ireland and say, listen, do you want Dublin to pick up the tab for, for Belfast? You know what I mean? And everybody would have to be involved, because I do worry that Brexit has kind of thrown the North under a bus. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of idea. So there we are. Brexit's been very, very, very bad, a very bad decision. I respect you a lot, Scotty. I tell you, you're very knowledgeable. Just disagree on one topic in particular. Yes, but Lahoub, do not worry. I mean, I respect you, but listen to what I'm saying, because McClue knows. Yes, indeed. Uh, what have we got here? I have bullets, a Cornwall Brigade hat, original field kit, and a writing kit for soldiers in World War II. How amazing. PlayStation, I'll tell you what I had. I had a Queen Mary chocolate box, the gold tin, from the First World War. What about that? I think I gave it to my history teacher. Scotty, a shout out for Michael. Yes, of course, a shout to Michael. So who have we got here? Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Kenders, thank you. Maria, what do I say? You beautiful, beautiful lady. You are so kind to me. Hello from Portobello. From Porte. Ah, yes, the home of the birthplace of Harry Lauder. Am I right or am I right? I'll tell you a lovely story. I was getting offered a job on the old talk radio. It's now called Talk Sport. And I was getting offered a job there at one point. And I finished my shift at Scott FM. And it was a, a, a summer's evening, a late spring evening. And I drove to Portobello at three in the morning and walked on the beach and sat by the seaside. You know? Just the only person on the beach. And I looked at the sea and I thought, do I want to leave Scotland and live in London? Do I want to leave Scotland and live in London? I'd lived in London before. The flattened Queen's Gate, which, which actually backed onto Hyde Park Gate, where Winston Churchill lived. So there you are. Very, very interesting.
And that was me. So there's a wee story for you guys. Yes. Is Maria okay? I think she is absolutely outstandingly okay, G-R-S-Y. Do you mean because she's so generous to Scotty McClue? Yes, I hope she's okay. She would tell us if she's not. Cabbage juice with a bit of pepper. Well, I call it cabbage water. I boil it up and drink it. Yes, lovely. How is Maria? She is absolutely stunning. John Wayne wants his head back. Hey, ah, oh, surely. Ah, oh, look here. Don't you look at me like that, son. <laughs> Kendall's fantastic. Thank you so much. Kendall's is giving me more TikToks. Uh, Angela Dinky do thoughts on independence yes I think Scotland would do very well as an independent country economically yes because Westminster is not good for Scotland but I have reservations about the low level of ability in some of the nationalist supporters because I've been arguing with them about the Queen and explaining to them that the Queen is our head of state and that she is the Scottish Queen, because Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. And I get stumbled, oh, it's a lot of rubbish. You're giving people facts, or oh, that's a lot of rubbish. Do you know what I mean? That's the level, that worries me. Ganavan Sands is my dream location. The houses are one million people. In Oban Candles, yes, of course. Just down below Denali there, is that right? Yes, just along from the uh, the cathedral, St. Columbus Cathedral. It's wonderful. I mean, Oban is very, very beautiful. Yes, Ganavan, we Ganavan, is that right? Is that where all the big houses are? They're all fairly new houses. When I was a wee boy, that was just beach and a car park. You know, that stuff. Maybe even the car park came later. I'm 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 back. I'm sorry, I'm very unwell tonight, but it's not COVID. Gavan, Kendos, what are you doing? Kendos is giving me two hundred TikToks. Kendos, you've already given me thousands and thousands of TikToks. I need to drink more water. I must drink more water, guys. Mm. Keep my fluid levels up for the shock of the generosity of people on this beautiful live. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you're okay, Gavan. Is it food poisoning? Have you got a pain? You talk to me. Dinky do. have you got your hat on backwards? Um, lol, kitty. Uh, JD, I might have. I don't know. How do you wear these? There's the jackaroo. Where do you where do you wear the badge? We need a jackaroo to come and tell us. Anybody in Australia watching right now? Do I have to do the crocodile Dundee? <laughs> Kendall, what are you doing? You've gone over three hundred. <laughs> Find out who's about. There we are. Maria has sent me another five hundred TikToks. Kenders has sent me 350 TikToks. Kenders, you must stop at 350. Stop. Stop. He's gone over. Does nobody listen to McClure, for goodness sake? So, Dinky Doo, am I wearing the hat the right way round? I need some help. Thoughts on independence? And yes, go for it. Ah, ah, the sun. Thank you very much. Ah, says sun. The lighting is good. Is the lighting okay? It's uh, my. It's I'm. It's I'm birthday. Says user. It's my brother. Thoughts on independence. Yes, yes. Red roses. Maria sent me another twenty-five roses. Kendall's, what are you doing? Can everybody see Kendall's guys? Tell me if you can see Kendall's eighty sending me four hundred and thirty TikToks. What are your pronouns, Pierre? We never ever do pronouns on here. It's a bit old-fashioned and it's a bit divisive, you know? It's like people saying, do you support this? Do you support that? It's divisive. We are all-encompassing on here. We're all-inclusive. We're very modern. Kendall's, what are you doing? Guys, do you know what I think Kendall's is going to do? He's going past 475. I think he's going to send me either 490 
490, now stop, or 500, he's going to send 500, stop Kenders, that's plenty, stop, Whoo! that's the first time somebody's done what they were asked, Kenders, thank you very, very, very much, what are you and the, the beautiful Maria like, it was Dev and Collins, I believe I may be wrong, what was Stair? So there we are, because you see, what was happening when the, the, there were executions going on and Lloyd George got in touch with Ireland and he said, what's going on there? They said, well, we're getting rid of all the baddies. And they said, no, 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 stop it, because they've all got relatives over here. It's causing no end of upset and trouble on the mainland. Stop it. So, you know, they said this, this was before... Um, the Republic, <coughs> pre-1922, and he said, stop it, and they said, okay, so they went back and they said, we'll stop at the, the, the big school teacher, and that was Dev. <sighs> Maria, what have you just done? We up at George Square at the weekend, says he, no, Aidan, I wouldn't go near any of these things. We've got COVID around. We need social distancing. Hello, honey. Hi, Libby. Dinky-doo. Dev was in charge, and Collins was Dev's right-hand man at the time. Partly he was a really big, handsome man, Michael Collins. His own men carried him, you know. I mean, he was, you know. Anyway, I'm not getting into all that because it's too negative. The historians think it was Dev's men or a British soldier. Or, I've seen uh, a, a painting of the ambush. It was a great big old car. I don't know what make the car was, but it looked like a great big old Rolls Royce or something like that. Great big old open car. And you know, there were people lying about. I don't think it was just Collins that got shot that night, was it? Or that day, was it, was it lunchtime or the afternoon? It was the afternoon, I think. And the car, and there's people in uniform all over the place. If you come to Australia, I have a spare room. Gavan, you are so very, very kind. We love Oz. Which part of Oz are you in? Kenders has sent me another hundred TikToks. Guys, I am seriously emotionally moved by the way you look after me on this live. I am serious. Serious. I didn't expect anything like this. This was started for a bit of fun. We've had tremendous fun out of it. We've carried it on. I don't know if you think I'm bonkers carrying it on, but it seems to be so very popular. Thousands and thousands watch it, but I need to encourage them to follow. Yes, Scotty Darren from Nottingham. Cool hat. Thank you so much. Maria sent another 50 TikToks on top of all the other thousands. Um, so Stair says Dev backstabbed Collins and got him killed. We don't know that, Lahub. Sorry, Stair. We don't know that Stair. Uh, is it Stair? Am I, am I pronouncing it correctly? Or is it Stair? Stair. Have you seen my text about the World War II stuff? I have. I saw it, PlayStation. I read it out. Yes. Have you got a gas mask? Maria has sent a hundred red roses. India Jones. I think you mean Indiana Jones. There we go. Now then, are you happy? Uh, oh, RD, you're on the wrong one. Guys, I'm just going to ban RD. Watch for this. Here he goes. Down the swanee for being a dirty, filthy wee midden. Ooh, ban, ban. There he goes. Are you watching? Woo! <laughs> so, uh, Scotty, we're only messing with you. They probably would just get annoyed at you. So there you are. Oh, what hopes to stay? Because, I mean, what I got was just, just love and adoration from the people of Ireland. You know, they were, ah, what, what are you about you now? Come up here you now. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll tell you, a friend of mine, uh, can you still get beheaded for treason? I don't know. Uh, until very recently, you could be hanged for high treason. 
You know, you could be hanged for high treason. Uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. But I mean, I was absolutely appalled at, uh, at the Green Party in Scotland this week because they didn't appear to fully take the proper oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen of Scotland, the head of state in Scotland. You know, we don't want disrespect, you know, for goodness sake. I mean, if I, I mean, I, I know, I'm, you know, I'm not bigging myself up. I know world leaders, you know, I know them, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and all that sort of thing. I've, I've lectured on leadership and all that sort of thing. You know, it's, it's very, very important. But, you know, I mean, if I was going to meet the Irish president, the Taoiseach, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, I wouldn't be, have any disrespect at all. I respect everyone. Hello, Mr. McClure, my idol. Woohoo! Agree to disagree. JD, what are you agreeing to disagree on? Kenders, will you stop? You've already, you, you, you'll bankrupt yourself, man. Stop. There we go. Guys, can we try and get that little figure in the corner up to over 200? I want to beat my record of over 200. Now, I think it involves everyone tapping the screen. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Please try it. Who's sending me love on here? You beautiful, beautiful people. Oh, I, I didn't even know what I'd be meeting. I thought I'd be meeting all the acidity that we used to sometimes meet in the big phone-in shows, you know? Quarter of a million people listening per half hour, every half hour. <laughs> there we go. A flying cow sent rose times a thousand. Run, bomb. Guys, um, it's very, very kind of you. Uh, if anybody's feeling very flush, uh, then I would accept a wee... A pound or a five bucks or something to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue because we're saving up for a phone. And there's a GoFundMe as well. I don't want to bore you with that, but there's a GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll see it all on the internet. Uh, Kendall says, are you getting a new phone or a whole new studio, Scotty? Maria's covered your mortgage. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, I'll be able to move to a smaller house there. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, hi from Malaysia. Yes, indeed. Hello. Yes, indeed. Now, Darren from Nottingham. Scotty, lovely. Thank you. Cool hat. Darren, a joy to have you with us. What about, oh, for goodness sake, Alan. <laughs> we troll. <laughs> Sorry, it's not troll, is it? It's troll. He's away doing this morning. I mean, look at the books behind you. Some of them look like a good book to read. They're all first class, Gavin. All my books, I have thousands of books. Because, uh, you see, I was around broadcasting on television and radio before the internet. So I had to learn every of the books. Hello from South Africa. We love you in South Africa. Thank you so much for coming on. Yes, indeed. Lovely to have you with us. And are you at the Bray tonight? I'm going to South Africa at some point, guys. Hello, Scotty the Hat Man. Where's the paddy cap? The cap? We don't know. Can you PayPal 20 quid? You could, Orange. Yes, I think it's paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. It'd be very, very kind of you, but you, there's never any obligation for anybody to give me a thing. Only if you're feeling flush and only if we've given you a smile. Now then, what are we giving you, Alan? I thought you'd gone. Have you really read every book behind you? Pretty well, you see, or certainly gone through them extensively. You know, sometimes I speed read. You see, sometimes I read two books at the one time. Now, I'm not talking about looking at alternate lines, but I'll have two books in bed with me, and I'll be looking at one, and then I'll think, right, that's enough of that. I'm going to read this one now. And I keep the two <laughs> challenges in my head. Hello from the deep south of the Bayou State. Meta. Lovely to have you with us. Where are you near? 
I like the hat, but where's the old one? We don't know. That's why we're wearing the jackaroo, because we don't know where the other hat is. <laughs> Dinky doo, what does that mean? Dinky doo means it's all well with you and the world. This guy could convince me of anything. You are so very kind, Karak. Karak, what a lovely thing to say. I would only convince you of something very good and very good for you. There we are. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria, BMW, the Bavarian Motorwerken. I can remember when I first saw a BMW and it was these little sort of sit up square ones with stacks of glass on the top and they were in things like bright lemon and orange and that sort of idea and 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 sky blue and they were beautifully engineered i can remember looking at the whole thing the bonnets it'll still be the same but the bonnet sort of slid forward and came up and then slid back beautifully and clicked into place. Really, really gorgeous engineering. I do love good engineering. Um, my father would be 99 tomorrow. Lovely, lovely man. The big, tall bagpiper that I've shown you. 99 tomorrow. Are you on TV? Yes, indeed. Not so much these days. I don't know if that's because of my age. But I would still like to, it might involve having a shave, but I would still like to have a go at reading the national news. You'll see me reading news from 30 years ago. There we go. Now, what have we got here? Sorry I'm late, Alan. Did I ban you? I'm not sure if I did. Wait a minute. Yes, I think I did. There we go. He's gone down. It's just he must have been spamming. There we are. Get oh, here's our chum here. Here, this is fantastic. Sandy, sorry I'm late, got held up by a cyclist. Ah, yes, was there another cyclist in front of you, Sandy? You and that bike with the old Lycra. Fantastic. Is uh, North Korea still communist? Oh, I think so, yes. I wouldn't like to uh, start slagging off the commies in North Korea because uh, it sounds like that the population all agree with the boss. Yes, indeed. I love you. I thank you, Sander. Lovely to have you with us. Hi from South Africa, says the Rhino. Lovely. Which part of South Africa are you from? The Cape? From the Eastern Cape? Are you from uh, Grahamstown? There we go. Are you from Joburg? Are you from the Australia, Scotty bro? No fair dinkum. Good of you to ask, I say. But uh, no, I'm not from a. I'm not an Aussie. Uh, uh, that's not a knife. No, this is a knife. <laughs> I love Crocodile Dundee, staying in the luxury hotel in New York and sleeping on the floor in the bath and things like that. Where's the flat cap, Mister Scotty? Well, we don't know. I think it's got mixed up in the washing. I hope it's all right. Hello from Louisiana. Are we French? Are we Spanish? I surely don't know you. Louisiana, you should be knowing me. Scotty McClue, two billion people know me. Yes, we are Scottish. A cause says, there we are. But Louisiana, we love it. French, Spanish. I'll give you some French. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, ainsi tu parles longtemps. Peut-être je comprends. Spanish. Hola, Milamo, Scotty McClue. <laughs> Hello from Louisiana, Meta. Lovely to have you with us. Just finished a 20 mile cycle. How are you doing, Cammy? Yeah, that's a big cycle. My washing machine has just finished a half hour cycle. Incredible. Man, how's your day going? So there we are. Uh, I thought we'd get rid of a land, did we not? There we are, he's gone. Right, are we now? <laughs> this is gangster SpongeBob. Yes, yeah, SpongeBob. Guys, thank you for all your lovely, lovely gifts tonight. Maria has sent me a gold mine. Maria, thank you. Thank you. It's so kind. You know? We have Spanish architecture as well as French. Seems to be a 50-50. Meta, absolutely. 
You see, the Spanish and the French were very, very influential. What's your favorite TV show? I think on balance, Dad's Army. I loved Faulty Towers. Quite enjoyed Step Two and Son. Uh, what else did I love? Uh, you know, these quality comedies, The Two Ronnies, Markham and Wise, you know, fantastic. Maria, thank you so much. I love your beautiful colours. COVID-19 is almost gone from Australia. Well, we need to get out there to Oz. How would I go down on the television or radio at night right across Oz? Yes. Uh, so either Sydney or Sydney, New South Wales, NSW, or um, Melbourne. I believe Melbourne's gorgeous. I believe Adelaide's gorgeous, but quite hot. Am I correct? So that's it. But then McClure's hot, you see. I love your accent. Love thy neighbor. Oh, Angela. I don't think love thy neighbor would be on nowadays. Yes. I don't know that everybody would get the jokes. You never know. Bullseye, bully, yes, I knew Jim, that's right. I remember Jim came and spoke at the dinner. Hello from South Africa. We love you in South Africa. When I was on TV, I said about you in Victoria, Melbourne. That was so good of you, Gavan. How lovely, Scotty McClure, right across Australia, or across America, or across the world like we are now. Every television station taking the Scotty McClue show. Can you imagine? Woo! And I think we should do what we do now. Just have a chat with everybody, plus texts, emails, phone calls, guests. Do you know what I mean? Be huge. It would be huge. And in Indonesia, they know you now. Gavan, we love Indonesia. Seems like a different background, Scotty. Looking good, though, from Ellen. Aaron, we love Ellen. Think you do love to the Ithan, I say. Pop into the local hotel and have some tomato broth. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, I always remember popping into the local hotel and Ellen. It was lovely. And white cloths on the table. And uh, very traditional. And uh, I sat down there, and uh, there's somebody asking, can you go on stv.tv? Ooh, I don't know. I used to be on STV uh, from 1985 till 1989. I was the newscaster on STV. Fantastic. Amazing, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. But still, we should go back, you know. Uh, do you remember Glenn Michaels' cartoon Cavalcade? That was a fabulous program. Very exciting. And I believe Glenn is um, in his 90s now, something like that, 90 maybe, um, that sort of age group. Wonderful man. Good evening, Scotty McClure. Dinky-doo, says Drew. Drew, that's lovely. Do you still use the operator to connect your trunk calls? Professor Numpteed, I don't, but I can remember using the operator. And I can remember using the operator on the Isle of Mull. And you went into a phone box and there was just a phone. There was no button A or button B. There was just a phone sitting there. And you picked it up and it went, deed, deed. And this voice said, operator, good evening. And you said, oh, trunks, please. Trunks, putting you through now. She said, could I have a trunk call, please, to the mainland? Yes, indeed. Uh, you put one and threepence in the box, and we put in a shilling, 5p, bump, one, two, three big old pennies, and you got through to speak to your mum. <laughs> the interview with Nicky Campbell, no, oh, that was a cracker, Kendall's. They should have done more of that, do you know what I mean? It just needs somebody with a real big set to go, oh, yes, my clue. Because I've, I've made millions of pounds for media moguls, you know. Not very much for myself, but then that doesn't really matter, does it? As long as we bring joy, uh, bring joy to the nation. Good evening, sir. Blair, lovely to have you with us and thank you too. Guys, I've just seen the time. I will have to dash off. Do you remember Radio Luxembourg? Yes, I do, Angela. It was a friend of mine that closed it down. Yes, Radio Luxembourg. In fact, I believe, 
I used to listen to Radio Luxembourg. The reception wasn't great, but you loved it because it was pop music and it was on at night. You know, it was just, and your transistor, you could pick out, it was very exciting. Radio was exciting in these days. It's really just one big jukebox now, you know, and you can get your own music on your phone anyway. Uh, we need to have something different. They need Scotty McClure on the radio at nights. Uh, happy Monday, Scotty. And to you, Dr. Wolf, dinky do. Right, I'm off to bed. The AstraZeneca's knocked me for six. <laughs> Kenders, Kenders. Thank you for your kindness, your generosity. Guys, thank you all for your wonderful support. This has been a beautiful live tonight. Hey, Scotty boy, says Gravy. Hello, Scotty from Bordeaux in France. Bonsoir, monsieur. There we are. Hello, good sir. Right, we're off. Now, are you ready, guys? What's somebody saying there about? Scotty, you close Scott FM down just by leaving. And we did not to huge yes, but, well... That was their decision, not mine. They had to sell the station. Are we ready? <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir. Zain, au revoir. And a cheery oh. As long as you like the lies, I love doing them for you. Good night, God bless, dinky do, tara -las. Thank you so much for your generosity. Lots and lots of love. You're beautiful people. Tara-las, dinky do.